Welcome back, everybody, and good day, Lynchburg. This is a live look at Liberty University. It is 825. Well, what better way to enjoy the peak of summer than in the great outdoors, right? Well, the Horse and Hound Festival is returning to Bedford County this weekend. WFXR's Hayes Marie Anderson gives us a close-up look of the countryside. Okay, you can't come to Peak Savada Winery and not enjoy the wine, especially during the Horse and Hound Wine Festival. Danny, you know, we are in the winery portion. What exactly is in front of us? Well, you got wine in front of you, this I is, hope. This, this is, is this true. Is fruit, this is fruit <laughs> wine. We, we make fruit wines. We do make a few grape wines, but we do mostly fruit wines and we do mostly sweet wines. And we've been doing this since 2000. I mean, since 1995. What's your uh, secret? Uh, uh, secret? There's no secret out there. Everybody's got the same secret when it comes to making wine. But the thing, the thing that we try to do is we try to make a unique wine. We, we're constantly changing. We've gone to a sparkling wine right here. Mm -hmm. uh, this one right here is our Kiss the Devil wine. Uh, that one's got 3% chili pepper wine Ooh. in it. And uh, this is our strawberry shortcake wine. We, uh, we do all types. We do about 40, 35 to 40 different wines during the year, and we're constantly rotating them in and rotating them out. And, you know, what do you think sets you all apart from other wineries? Because you guys are very relaxed here, and it's just such a wonderful atmosphere. But when it comes to the wine, what do you think sets you apart? Well, we were Virginia's first all fruit winery. We've been out there for a long time with fruit wines. And we have gone to a lot of festivals. We were doing 75 festivals a year. And uh, we've gotten known and people come to visit us all the time. They mm -hmm. know that if they come here, they can go down and visit the farm animals. They know that if they come here, visit us, they can walk out in the orchards. They know all this. So they come and visit us and uh, we, make, we make good wines. They're able to sit down in our building here or in a picnic pavilion out on the deck out there and drink wine and eat apple cider donuts. You mentioned the apple cider donuts. I think we should open one up. And we yeah, open it up. And we, and we are going to enjoy, because this is homemade, correct? Right. We, All right. You we, go. Would you like we, one? Yes, I want one. All right. Oh, wait, hold have, on. We could toast. We have uh, we have fresh apple cider during season too. We're the only, we we make we make fresh unpasteurized wow. apple cider. Wow. All That's right. Cheers. These, cheers. So we can't cheers the wine, but we'll cheers the donuts. Back to you. All right. We'll cheers to donuts too. Yeah. Would you like one? Yes, I'd like one. <laughs> <laughs> cheers. Let's see it. Yeah, it's not bad. I like it warm. It's not bad, actually. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's a little sweet for me. Yeah. It, it has a little sugar on it. Yeah. Try yeah, not yeah. to do sugar for a little yeah. bit. Yeah, yeah. Well, again, the Horse and Hound Festival returns this Saturday from 10 until 5. When's that again? Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> now, general admission is $15, <laughs> and kids under 12, as well as dogs, they can all get in for free. And again, folks, that's 10 till 5. <laughs> this Saturday. Right.